Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I got my greasy girl with me this morning. Actually, she literally just woke up like five minutes ago. She's having a pouch and we're gonna make some breakfast, yeah? So, I get to spend the morning with Grace. Would you like to pick the egg? Good job. Can I have it, please? You wanna put it in the bowl? Okay, thank you. Yep, I'm gonna crack it and put it right in. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> you want to mix? <laughs> Nicely done. Um, and then at 11 today, I'm actually taking the train up to LA with Kenzie and Ryan. We're going to an event. Ta-da! <laughs> so the eggs are still going to be a little hot, but would you like a raspberry? Yeah, raspberry. She's in her high chair now, so I'm just going to pour her some milk. There we go. All right, I just took a shower and I blow dried my hair enough to the point that I think it will be fully dry by the time we get to LA. Just kind of getting it to this like damp stage. Now I'm gonna do some skincare and put on a little bit of makeup. So we're going up to LA for the launch party of Brooklyn and Bailey's skincare line. It's called ITK, like in the know. And it seems very, very cool. Super excited for them. Um, and the, the theme of the launch party is like a garden luncheon. So I'm wearing like a really fun frilly dress. They're gonna have like croquet and tea readings. And usually when I go up to LA, I drive because usually I'm going to like multiple things. So taking the train just isn't super practical because I'd have to end up taking like 20 Ubers to get to all the different places. But today we're literally just going to this event and then getting dinner and coming back. So I was like, let's take the train. Like it's more enjoyable, it's better for the environment and we can work on the commute. I have a lot of TikTok talks that I filmed over the past week, but haven't had the time to edit. Can't do that while I drive, but I absolutely can do that on the train. So I'm excited. It's gonna be a fun little uh, girly day on the train and then up in LA. Dang it, I just sprayed the setting spray and then realized I hadn't done my blush yet. Still getting used to uh, doing makeup again, which by the way, little update on that. All of the products that I showed in that previous vlog where I talked about, you know, trying to find like a, a natural makeup routine, I'll link that video in the description. All of those products have actually worked fantastic for me with just a few minor adjustments. So I'm using the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. And then I top that off with a little bit of this powder from Clinique and then the cream blush from Merit, the Fix It setting spray from MAC. Benefit Gimme Brow, as always, my tried and true. A little bit of mascara. And then I got one of those Dior lip oils that I have seen everyone raving about lately. I thought I'd try it and I just got the clear one because I thought that would work best with like my more natural makeup routine. And oh my gosh, do I love it. It's like super hydrating. It gives that little bit of like gloss and shine. And I feel like it just kind of heightens the natural color of my lips, which I love. So makeup is done. I'm gonna go get my dress on. So here is the dress. I just love this. Like I feel so good, so comfortable, so confident in this. I actually got it for my channel photo shoot. It's from Eloquy, but I haven't had a chance to wear it like in real life outside of the photo shoot yet. So I thought today would be perfect. I've been waiting for the opportunity. And then for shoes, I just did these little brown sandals. Got some simple jewelry on and uh, I'm just gonna throw my bag together and then we're ready to go. Okay, I've got my makeup bag, my content phone and my regular phone, my tripod, phone charger, change of clothes for the train ride home in case I want it, journal and is my wallet in here? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, cool, ready to go. What are all the comments on the Broadway.com Instagram? At Leah Michelle, Leah Michelle, Leah Michelle. No one actually thought that's what they were gonna do. They did, right? They did. They did. And then literally like 48 hours, the dust has not even settled like, on the this announcement. This poor girl's post. probably still crying, still yes. upset. And she still got shows to do. Like she's she announced her leaving in like three or four weeks. They announce who is going to be Fanny Bryce. 
Leah Michelle. All of a sudden, Jane Lynch is leaving the day before Leah Michelle starts on Broadway. So there's no overlap. Isn't that crazy? That has to tell you. Right, that that tells you something. So freaking cute. Oh my gosh, I love this theme. I love this venue. I love everyone's dresses. So we just grabbed some food, caught up with some friends, and then I think we're gonna head over and do the candle making station. Okay, we're trying the sunscreen. It's a spray sunscreen, which I feel like is so smart. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, we're gonna pour our own candles now. This is so cute. Uh, you can smell those two scents to see which one you buy. Okay, rose water chamomile, probably gonna be the one no, I want. Yeah, I want, I want the French Ooh. vanilla. Okay, pouring in my wax, I went with the rose water chamomile scent. How long do we stir it for? Slowly, Sierra, slowly, slowly. Oh, sorry, slowly. Slowly. And then you're gonna take one of these um, wooden wicks, you'll insert it into the little metal end. Woohoo! Awesome, thank you so much. Okay, I'm making a cup of tea. I mean, it is a tea party, after all. Hello! Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? What flavor would you like? Um, I will do the pink, please. They have a cotton candy station. I'm getting the pink to match my dress. Thank you so much. Cheers. Yes, do it. <laughs> Bing! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, getting ready for the day. Literally picking this vlog back up like over a week later. And actually last night I was editing the beginning part of this vlog at the ITK event and I realized I just never continued this vlog. So uh, hey again. So yeah, just getting ready for the day. I am gonna be with Grace today. I'm using the uh, ITK Brightening Serum. This is one of the three products that I've really gotten a chance to try so far and I really like it. I've also used the Milk to Foam Cleanser. That's actually what I was just washing my face with. This is probably my favorite product. It just feels very gentle and soft and I have dry skin, so I can't have anything that dries it out. I'm gonna put on my moisturizer. This is the uh, Youth to the People Adaptogen one. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> and then some sunscreen. I'm using the Unseen Sunscreen from Supergoo. The ITK Spray Sunscreen is the third product of theirs that I've been trying. I really like this for a reapplication because then if I have like any other makeup on my face, I don't have to rub on top of it. I can just spray it, but for my like initial application, I still prefer the super goop. I just love the way this goes on and it honestly feels more like a primer than a sunscreen. I've heard there's a really good Trader Joe's dupe though for that. That's like $8. So maybe I should try that and see how it compares because that would be a big money saver if so, because that sunscreen is pretty expensive. All right, I am gonna refresh my hair. So I just give it all a little spritz and then I'll finger detangle. And this works pretty well for most of my hair, but sometimes there'll be pieces <laughs> like this that are just a little bit too knotted for that. So I'll just get them extra wet and brush it out. That pretty much only happens on like the bottom layer. Give it a little scrunch, much better. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of product on my hands, get them wet and scrunch. Cool, this side is done. I'm gonna do the same to this side. Done. I'm gonna go get dressed. All right, comfy little outfit of the day. These pants are from Me and Studios. Shirt is from Hollister, and I'm probably just gonna wear my Birkenstocks. <laughs> All right, so it is about 8.45. Would you like some water? Yeah, there you go. Grace had breakfast, I got her dressed, and uh, now we're gonna head out to the outlet mall. <gasps> is that Dada? <laughs> 
Yeah. Can I come give you a kiss? You want to give Dada a hug? I love you. Oh. I love you too. Much. Love you. You can blow him a kiss. Mwah. More Dada. We'll have more Dada tonight. He has to go to work. Yeah, so we're going to the outlet mall. Gonna get Grace some new leggings. And also just walk around, have fun, window shop. Maybe get some Wetzel's pretzels. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> bah. Bah. You want some more water? Bah. You want my sunglasses. <laughs> oh my goodness. Should I, I should wear them? Like this? Do I look cooler like this? No. <laughs> well, I completely forgot that the mall does not open until 10. So uh, I drove Grace and I over to the library instead. We're gonna play here for a bit, get some books, and then uh, we can go to the outlet mall after. <laughs> Grace is down for her nap. I've just been getting some stuff done around the house. Thank goodness that the nap strike is over. I talked about this in a previous vlog, but Grace just wasn't napping for like over a week. But now she's back to normal and it is so nice having this time back. But yeah, it's been a great day so far. I think when Grace wakes up, we'll have some playtime outside because it is just a gorgeous day. Finally, the like hot, hot summer heat is fading. Now, instead of being like 90 every day, it's like 75. 580, which is just so much more enjoyable to be outside in. We've got her water table out there, which is always a lot of fun. But what she's been like most into outside lately is just being pushed around in her cozy coop, like her little car thing that she got for her birthday. She just loves that. So we'll do just like endless laps around the backyard and it makes her so happy. <laughs> Whee! Oh, we've got the straightaway. We've got the straightaway! Oh, we made it! More? We're off again! And left turn! Go, go! Woo! Yay! More? Okay. Well, it is a little after 6 p.m. now and Steven's doing Grace's bath and bedtime tonight. So after dinner, I said goodnight to her. I went and did some skincare. So I uh, don't mind the uh, zit stickers on my face here, <laughs> but um, I was just about to get into some editing. I was looking at the footage and I realized that there is a clip from the night before last that I forgot to include in the last vlog. And I, I just have to show you guys because it is so, so, so freaking cute. <laughs> All right, I just, I, I think I found this on like an Instagram ad. ad. Look what finally came to me. I think I ordered this like five months ago. Oh! <laughs> Computer Engineering for Babies. This is a book for, it's called Computer Engineering for Babies and each page is a different circuit. So look, you see that big yellow button? Can you click it? Look at that button, click it. Whoa, see that? Those are two gates. And if you turn the page, a wire, when you push the button, it turns on right away because there's no logic. Very cool. And then this is a not gate. So it, when you're not pushing it, it stays on. This is an or gate. So you push either or of the buttons, the light will turn on. This is an and gate. So you have to push both buttons at the same time. So look, it's an and gate. So you got to do both. <gasps> Whoa. You do the yellow one and Dada will do the red one. You push the yellow one. Ready? And because we're both pushing it, it's an AND gate. This is how computers work. Isn't that so cool? The end. That was so cool. Was More? Cool? More computer engineering. That's what daddy does. 
Aw, Steven, that's so cute. Isn't that a cool book? It's been fun, because I think it was like one of those Kickstarters, and like this random guy, his name is Chase Roberts, super cool book. He's been sending me emails like every month. He sounds everyone in emails. They're like, hey guys, you got the books, and they were all broken, so I had to remake them, and blah, blah, blah. More. <laughs> An OR gate, you push either OR to turn on the light. That just makes me so happy. I love my baby. I love my husband. I love watching Steven and Grace interact together. It's just so sweet. It's like my favorite thing in the whole world. But yeah, I think that is where I'm gonna leave things for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. And actually next time we will be at Disney World. I cannot wait to share that with you. Bye.